Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we will talk about a sea creature that split from its species 780,000 years ago and was recently found in Antarctica. Antarctica waters are home to several marine species, some of which are still unknown to humans. One such species has now been discovered by researchers from the William and Mary's Virginia Institute of Marine Science. They have found a new species of Antarctic dragonfish in the peninsula, a new study published in the journal Zoo Taxa says. The dragonfish is called the banded dragonfish, or Echarotaxis guldii. It has been named after an Antarctic research and supply vessel called the Lawrence M. Gould. The vessel and its crew have made several scientific contributions and it recently went out of service. The dragonfish has certain distinctive physical features, such as two dark vertical bands of color on its body. It has a slender body, a wide snout, an elongated mouth, and large, oval-shaped eyes. According to the study, the fish was discovered accidentally while researchers were sweeping the region for zooplankton. They found the larvae of the fish and took them to study them. Initially, it was thought to be a different species of dragonfish, a Carotaxis nudiceps. However, as the fish grew, lead researcher Andrew Corso and his colleagues noticed something exciting. The adult Erotaxis gould had two distinct bands on the sides which are not present on Acarotaxis nudiceps. They were shocked to see that a species of fish had been living in the Antarctic waters, but went by unnoticed. There are two distinct bands on the sides of adult Acarotaxis gouldae that are not present on Acarotaxis nudiceps, so we were surprised that the species already existed in collections but had been previously overlooked, Corso said. Using a process called phylogeny and genetic testing, Corso and his co-author, Thomas Desvine, found that the banded dragonfish had deviated from a separate species approximately 780,000 years ago. We hypothesize that a population of dragonfish may have become isolated within deep trenches under glaciers, surviving on food pushed in by the moving ice. Once the glaciers retreated, this subpopulation had become distinct enough to be reproductively incompatible with Acarotaxis nudiceps, Corso said. Desveen is a researcher from the Institute of Neuroscience at the University of Oregon. The researchers say that since Antarctic dragonfish live in deep waters, they haven't been studied much. Acarotaxis gulde also seem to be limited to the water around the western Antarctic peninsula as per the study. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.